Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video here with yet another 2023 movie thoughts. We are on the second to last day of 2023, the 30th of December 2023, of course, just two days until 2024. Now, um, uh, I of course just got back from the cinema to see Aquaman 2. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Now, uh, I was excited for this movie just because I really love the first Aquaman movie. Um, that movie was awesome, honestly, I thought. And um, I really thought it was awesome. And um, you know what? Um, especially, I especially loved the character of Black Manta. And now this time, he was going to be the main villain of this film. So of course, you know, and I love just Jason Momoa in general. James Wan came back to direct. And uh, that, you know, made me happy. You know, pretty much, you know, everything I liked about the first film. Uh, seemed like it was coming back for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, the sequel. Now this film, I'm going to be honest, I thought it was fine solid like a seven out of ten it wasn't anything too special honestly i thought but you know what it's a good enough time at the movies i still had a good time and you could do worse than this honestly um and um i actually saw this not just in imax but i saw an imax 3d so that was really awesome um, I did purposely want to see it in IMAX 3D. There were only two IMAX 3D, uh, screenings for it. One was at 12, the other 6 p.m., which I just got home from. Um, and this film, uh, seemed to be wrapping up, uh, just, you know, the loose ends of the first Aquaman movie. Most importantly, of course... Um, you know, uh, what's his name? Black Manta, played by, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I've always, I've always called him Yaha Abdul Mateen II. I don't know or care too much if I pronounce that wrong or right, uh, but I do like this dude as an actor, and, um, I really enjoyed him in the first Aquaman, uh, he was, uh, you know, um, um, pretty good part of the first one. Now he's the main villain. Um, surprisingly though, he, I didn't quite enjoy him as much in this film, you know, like, it was like, I don't know. It was like, I don't, again, it's like, you see the character and it's like, I think they tried though, you know, I'm not saying that they didn't try, you know, to, you know, make him more interesting or anything like that. I do think they definitely tried. And, um, I was really enjoying him more, like, near the end of the movie. You know, when he really starts doing evil stuff. Um, but, um, but, you know, it was really just the same. Like, Aquaman killed my father, you know, so I want revenge. Same stuff. It works, but same stuff. Um... Aquaman and Mira are married now, and they have a baby boy, which is cool. Uh, Nicole Kidman's back in this. My man, Timuda Morrison, is back as his father in this. Um, that was cool to see him. And, uh, yeah, Amber Heard as Mira. Now, I don't like Amber Heard as a person myself, but giving credit where credit is due, I know cancel pigs like to, you know, like act act like they always hated something starring someone that's now hated, but she is good as Mira in this. She was good as Mira in the first Aquaman. Also, they tried. They definitely made it look like she was barely in this movie, if at all. She's in this. She she is in this. Okay, she's in this quite a bit. You know, 
But uh, and I, like I said, I don't like her as a person myself. But she was, she is good as Mira. That's just that, you know. Um, but um, yeah. Um, Jason Momoa, as always, awesome as Aquaman. And uh, but the biggest surprise of this movie to me. And I heard that people said that this was, like, the best part about this film. And I was like, really? That's the best part? And I felt that way when I, you know, when I, um, when I, when, when I was, uh, way back in 2014 as well. When, uh, when Interstellar came out and everyone was saying that the best part about this movie is the relationship between, uh, Mackenzie, what's her, Foy, I think? And, uh, and, uh. What's his name again? Matthew McConaughey. And I'm like, what? That's the best part? Not the space stuff? And I'm like, what? The relationship between Orm and Aquaman is the best part? Not, um, you know, the Black Manta stuff? Uh, but, um, yeah. The Orm is awesome in this movie. Way more interesting, um, than he was in the first film, I would say. Um... And, like, I don't want to, you know, be too specific about certain stuff about him, his character in this movie. I feel like that you could consider that spoilery. I mean, not that it matters too much, because, you know, this is the end of the DCAU, unfortunately. Um, but I really loved Orm in this. He surprised the heck out of me at how much I enjoyed his character. He was honestly my favorite character in this movie. Um, to be quite honest, I really enjoyed him in this. Um, oh, oh, some new characters too. You remember the, the octopus that plays the drums in the first Aquaman? They actually gave him a pretty decent role in this movie. And there's this giant lobster guy. I think his name is Magnus or something like that in this movie. He is crack up. Loved him in this. If you guys saw the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I wonder who plays him or voices him, you know? Uh, I couldn't recognize the voice. Um, like, there's a joke that Aquaman says, like, Alright, keep your eyes peeled. And then he says, That'll be easy, because mine never close. <laughs> you know. Um, you know what? Um, uh, yeah, um, the title, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. It, it, you know, when it comes to, like, new movies that release, I, I forget that... The, these titles aren't just cool titles for the sake of it. They actually are like a meaning behind these titles, you know, like, and yes, the Lost Kingdom is a thing for real, a very important plot device in this movie. Um, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to get too specific or anything, but, um, yeah, um, but anyway, um, let's just get on to, uh, you know, how the DCU wrapped up and all that now. Um, it was a solid film, this film here. It doesn't really have... It, it's not like Endgame at all. It's like they just decided to like, alright, we're just gonna... However we were gonna make this film end, that's just how it ends. Um, no sign that it is ending. This film just drops and that's it. That's the end of this movie and the DC Extended Universe. Um... Um, even though I like James Gunn, I'm not really, like, all that interested, um, in what I've heard for his new DCU, and I, I don't, I don't know why, why everyone's dick is so hard about the Superman legacy castings, you know, especially Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor, like, what? When I think Lex Luthor, I think of a middle-aged, bald dude. Why do they want Lex Luthor to be young all of a sudden? They did it with, you know, Jesse Eisenberg. You know, who, who's not too bad. Who, who actually was a decent Lex Luthor, but, you know. Um, but still, when I think Lex Luthor, I think middle-aged bald dude who hates Superman. Um, and, like, yeah, this film doesn't really have, like, a conclusive ending to the DCU. Like, it wraps up... The stuff that was in the Aquaman, the first Aquaman movie that, you know, and that that's about it, you know, uh, it just ends, 
Um, and the very last line of the DCU, you, you might consider this spoilers, so just warning you, um, I am Aquaman. Yeah! Those are the last words of the DCU. Uh, I don't, I, there is a mid-credit scene. It's just, it's, 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 a, it's just a gag, though. It's nothing that you, you can easily skip it, you know. But I don't know if there was, I don't know if there's a mid-credit, uh, oh, sorry, a post-credit scene, like, at the very end, just because I, I did go to see this movie with my grandfather, just like I went to see Wonka with my grandfather. And, uh, I didn't want to, like, worry him, you know. So, I, I did watch the mid-credit scene. I don't know if there's something after the credits, you know. So, um... Yeah, the DCU has officially come to an end. My earliest movie review that's still up is actually my Man of Steel movie thoughts. Yep, the very first thing of the DCU that I reviewed way back in 2013. In December of 2013 is at that. Yeah, um... That is my earliest uh, movie thoughts slash review up on my YouTube channel. And here we are 10 years later... And my whatever I reviewed for that, it's it's nowhere near as good as I do it now. Okay, maybe you could argue maybe I still do it terribly. You know, we can be honest. You know, and we can still be honest but also kind. You know, um, but also real and honest. You know. And man, I I have followed the DCU. I have had I have you know, followed the DCU. Um, uh, so many movie announcements, so many cancelled movies, so many hopes and dreams that just got crushed. Um, definitely didn't live up to its full potential. And it, I guess it's hard to say who's to blame for that. Um, like, um, far out. Like, Ben Affleck, standalone Batman movie. Yes, that's going to be epic. It never happened. Um, Joker standalone movie never happened. Joker and Harley Quinn never happened. Gotham City Sirens never happened. Um, The Trench, a spinoff of Aquaman. I don't know what that movie would have looked like. Uh, would that would I could see that at most working as a short film, but a full length movie. I don't know. Deadshot the movie never happened. Um, oh, uh, just Deathstroke the movie never happened. And these all sounded like they would have been th really cool movies. But it all ended with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. And it's a solid movie. Uh, like I said, uh, whatever I say next, I'm just going to repeat myself that I've already said in this video. So, yeah, that's... How are they going to do Peacemaker Season 2, though? Because they did confirm Season 2 of Peacemaker. But, like... That one references this DCU. Is that going to be the only part of this DCU that's that's still going to be alive? Because they do reference, and they even had appearances from, you know, DCU characters like Jason Momoa's Aquaman, you know, Ezra Miller's The Flash. They did cameos. They make references to stuff in the DCU, you know. How they how are they gonna do that with Peacemaker season two? Are they gonna? I don't know. It's confusing, but anyway, that's my thoughts on Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that would be the last movie I saw in cinemas of 2023. Um, I'll still try my best to, you know, do a, a, at least a, a couple more, you know, movie reviews tomorrow. The last day of the year as well as top sunday for tomorrow of course um but yeah this is where we are hope you guys enjoyed your boy mark sanders thoughts and i'll see you next time peace out have a good one y'all